There's a soldier and there's a minor worker. The start was, I was just really fascinated, actually like Darwin, how you can get such dramatically different looking workers in a single colony. I had no possible idea that it, the answer would have been in the wing rudiments. There is no way I could have guessed that. Ahab Abuhev teaches biology at McGill. He's been researching the wings of ants for almost 25 years. Only the queen and the male ants have wings. None of the workers do. But Abu Haif and his students observed that in some of the worker ants, a rudimentary wing disc that was thought to be simply a useless remnant of evolution appears at a particular stage in their development. In the process of looking into it more closely, the researchers made a big discovery. In the workers, these wing discs that, uh, that are fully functional in the queens and males are rudimentary, which means that they um, appear and disappear. And it's interesting because they only appear, what we noticed early on in the lab, is that they appear and disappear only in certain individuals. And those individuals are the big headed soldiers. What we discovered is that these rudimentary organs are not a consequence of development and in response to the hormones in food, but are in fact a cause. And they're the things that are triggering the generation of these soldiers by sending out signals that regulate head and the body to actually grow at really rapid rates until you get these big-headed soldiers with these big mandibles and big bodies. The researchers discovered the process that generates the development of soldier ants in the Phytale genus. They also found out that soldier ants control the proportion of larvae that will eventually become soldiers. The big surprise is that the soldiers, the way they've evolved the capacity to regulate the number of minor workers to soldiers is that they emit a soldier pheromone or an inhibitory pheromone that stops the growth of this rudimentary organ when there are too many soldiers. And by doing that, they keep the balance of soldiers at 5% and the minor workers at 95%. The larvae are somehow able to sense the inhibitory pheromone. They're the ones who are reading the amount of inhibitory pheromone and by doing that, they'll know how many soldiers there are, and then they react by either uh, developing into to soldiers or not. The traditional way of thinking about rudimentary organs is that they had no function or at most minor functions. And so to find that these rudimentary organs generate the soldiers and even balance the proportion of soldiers to minor workers in a single colony, to have such a major regulatory role during development and even evolution, is kind of turning all of our theories on, on their head and giving a whole new perspective to, you know, to these class of, this class of biology that has remained underappreciated for the last 100 years.